What's up guys, it's Aaron Nitmar. Ever since the final Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Direct, the E3 build of the game has been replaced with the full build of the game, the version that we will presumably have on release day. There are events in both Spain and Japan happening right now that include the full game, so of course anyone who's there to play the demo is able to play any and every character that they want. As a result of this, a lot of footage has come out, and one of the first things that someone did is go through all of the character colors and take a look at what they are, any updates, and the colors for the new characters. So today I'm going to look at all of the colors and give sort of my first impressions. I'm not going to talk about all of the characters, because some straight up just don't have anything different from the previous game, and some just aren't worth noting, so I'm not going to talk about all of them. I will link in the description a video which is pretty much the main video that has all of the different colors and it cycles through them pretty quickly. So if you'd like to take a look at all of them, I will leave that link down in the description. But with that, let's go ahead and jump into what I have to say about certain character skins. So Mario, of course, we knew all about. He was in the E3 demo, so we saw all of his costumes. He has his uh, brand new Builder Mario and Wedding Mario outfits. The only thing I dislike is that Wedding Mario has seemed to take the place of Fire Mario. Um, Fire Mario just seems to be so iconic that it's weird that it got taken out, especially when a lot of the other characters still keep their fire variants. And I know Wedding Mario is more recent and it's like, iconic, but I feel like Fire Mario is way more iconic, so they could have just added both if they really wanted to, I guess. But, I don't know, I still like Wedding Mario. Ever since Breath of the Wild Link was shown off, I thought it would be weird to not have a Tunic Link in, or a Green Tunic Link, I should say, in Super Smash Bros. because it's been that way since day one. Obviously we have Toon Link and Young Link, but something about having a non-tunic, a non-green tunic normal Link seemed a little weird. Of course now it's not the case, um, so I'm very happy to see that. I will probably still play as Breath of the Wild normal Link, the blue tunic, but uh, I like that they give the player the option. You know, I'm always for more player customization and, you know, choices. But of course now is the first new character that we have, and that is Dark Samus. Now looking at all of these, I really, really like all of Dark Samus's recolors. I also like how different areas on her that seem to be, you know, like veins, they also change color with the different, um, with the different colors. I, that just sort of adds to the sort of persona that she has, that she is like this alien inside of the suit, or who took the form of the suit. I don't know, it just looks really, really cool to me, so uh, I like pretty much all of them. I think my favorite is probably the sixth one, this weird light blue, almost white one that has like red accenting. Uh, I really like that one. Yoshi actually loses a color and just gets a second version of green, which I actually don't really like. I always liked the black Yoshi, and I had hoped that in Smash Ultimate they would include the white Yoshi to have the full array of all of the available Yoshi colors. Um, I think there actually may be like a brown Yoshi somewhere mixed in there too. Oh, and there's orange also that's missing. Um, but I don't like that they got rid of black to give just another green look. If anything, I thought that maybe there should be a ninth outfit that is just the crafted Yoshi version because I always like the black variant. And then of course we have Pikachu. Special shout out to the Party Hat Pikachu and the Ethan Hat Pikachu costumes which of course are the two that I play the most as, Party Hat being first and Ethan Hat being second. Um, other than that, Pikachu did get two new outfits. Uh, by the way, did you know that Pikachu Libre is a girl? All right, so Peach has a brand new all gold, kind of like the Captain Falcon one actually, all gold dress to replace her Daisy color scheme because of course Daisy is now an Echo Fighter of Peach. Other than that, everything is pretty much the same from Smash 4, but that gold one looks pretty neat. It could be a little too bright, I think, but uh, we'll just have to see. And now for Daisy. These are all, of course, original because Daisy's never been in the game before. But I like that she has a matching white dress to match Peach's uh, white dress and a black dress to match Peach's black dress. Those specifically feel like they're meant to be matching. All the other ones are just kind of normal recolors. Um, so I don't really have anything to say about those. I can't tell what color this third one is. It looks kind of like a really pale pink, or it can't be orange because her default is orange. So I can't really tell what this is. Maybe it's my monitor settings or something. Um, so I'd really like to know what that one is. But other than that, um, yeah, I like her colors. 
And then of course we have the brand new Link Between Worlds Zelda design. A lot of her outfit colors still are kind of the same as previous ones. They've just been adapted obviously for the new design. I've always wondered if this was meant to be Hilda because if it was, if it was meant to be Hilda, this sixth one, it didn't do a good job. Hilda's hair is just straight up purple. It's not gray. So I don't know what they were going for here if it was meant to be Hilda, but I feel like they could have gotten a little closer to what the character was meant to be. Other than that, I like the Twilight Princess and the, uh, I think that's a combination of maybe the Skyward Sword or uh, different art from Link to the Past for Zelda, but I would probably lean towards Skyward Sword if I had to choose. Which, by the way, I think Skyward Sword Zelda is my favorite Zelda. All right, now Pichu is one that uh, when I first saw it, I saw this on Twitter actually before I made this video, so it's not a first impression for Pichu, but when I saw Pichu's outfits, I was like overjoyed because all of these are just so good. Obviously, you have the returning uh, goggles and the ribbon on the ear, but then of course you have uh, this bandana, which I think might be Team Skull, and then you have uh, the Team Aqua bandana, and then you have Spiky Eared Pichu, which I really didn't think was going to be in the game. I always thought that Sakurai and whoever his team are just hated actual references to other forms of Pokemon, but there we go, Spiky Eared Pichu is right there, front and center. Uh, and then on top of that, we have one with a flower, which uh, is a white flower, but it kind of matches uh, Jigglypuff's flower form. And then I think that's a focus band on the eighth outfit, but uh, I really like all of these. The returning ones, the brand new ones, I think that these are really, really solid. All right, now for Young Link, first off, gotta say I love the pink one. I, I love pink, so whatever. Um, there's another orange one here, which is cool, which I don't think Link has ever had uh, in the game. I don't think he's ever actually had an orange tunic. And then of course, the Dark Link outfit, which really looks cool. All right, so two things that are really cool about Meta Knight's skins is that the Galactonite skin actually has the mask that Galactonite has, and the Dark Meta Knight skin actually has the cut across the mask that uh, Dark Meta Knight has. So that's really cool that we're not just getting color references, we're actually getting almost full alts. I mean, this obviously isn't the full alt because they're not gonna have the same wings or the same sword, things like that, but it does very much seem like we're getting uh, kind of the best of both worlds. He's still Meta Knight, but also is a reference. Nothing new for Zero Suit Samus. I'm sure her hair looks really, really cool on the actual character select screen. Obviously, with this low quality compilation of images, uh, it doesn't look that good. But I really like how the rendering system they're using now, the engine, really handles hair very well. You can see it in characters like Zero Suit or Marth that it actually looks like their hair is like flowing in the wind and not just kind of plastered to their head. Like I said earlier, I love when Sakurai gives players more options, more customization, or just different alternate appearances, so I love that Ike has both of his appearances. And not only that, the younger version from Brawl has outfits from Brawl, and the older version from Smash 4 has versions from Smash 4, has colors from Smash 4, so I really like that. I really love that Leaf is playable because it just gives the player more uh, variety they can choose if they want to be Trainer Red or Trainer Leaf. And then, of course, I love that these are all references to the different protagonists from each Pokemon generation. Oh, look, it's my favorite character, eight different shades of blue. It's cool to see Alf back as an alternate costume. I would have loved to see him as uh, an Echo Fighter, especially given that standard has been set. Um, but other than that, I don't think there's any new outfits to choose from. Two of these look like they have stripes on Rob's head, so I'm not sure what's going on there, why that was added. These all look like they are returning, except for that stripe change. That's really odd to me. The last two villager outfits, of course, now have darker skin. In Smash 4, they used to be like the rest of the set, where they all had white skin, but now they are more brown to black. So this does give the game kind of more representation as far as real world people go, but I think it also represents the game as a whole, because if I remember right, you can change the skin color, or the skin color can be different depending on your answers for the questions at the beginning of Animal Crossing. So it works in two aspects. There are real world implications, and it just represents the game a little bit better. So I like this change. It always sort of bothered me that we Fit had colors for each gender. Every other character who has alternating appearances or genders has a different color for every gender, but this one it's like 
Blue, blue, green, green, red, red, yellow, yellow. I never really understood why that was a thing, and it's weird that they brought it back, but whatever. I like that they condensed Little Mac down to 8. 16 always seemed like too much, especially because the wireframes didn't really add anything. They had all of the same colors from the normal looking Little Mac, except it was all green. So like, it just seemed like it was 16 slots for nothing. I do like that they have the wireframe and the green hoodie and the pink hoodie though, because all of those, um, they kind of each have something the other doesn't, but they also share things too. So it's pretty interesting. I really like that. My favorite part about Palutena on the character select screen is you can barely tell the difference in what's happening with her different colors. Like you can barely see that anything is changing. If you like overlaid these in Photoshop and sh like compared the colors, they all probably look the same except for like that small like 10 pixel area that is changing that is her dress. Like I've that. That just seems weird. At least change her hair color or something to make her stand out more in her colors. But it's Sakurai's baby. He probably doesn't want to uh, step on any toes or he just likes it that much. Speaking of characters who don't look like they change very much. Hey, Pac-Man. Yep, still the same. Still barely any change except for the oven mitts. All right, have a good one. Now, if I recall, they changed the hair color on a couple of these. They gave Red Robin her blonde hair instead of red hair, which I think is an odd choice. Green Robin for uh, the male Robin actually used to have green hair and now it's just brown. Uh, blue I think got a little paler. Black obviously has stayed the same for uh, male Robin. And then yellow and pink for female Robin I believe are also the same, but these just seem like random arbitrary changes. But speaking of hair color, Shulk seemed to have found some hair dye because all of his alts except for the uh, swimsuit alt have different hair colors, which I can only assume uh, match up with the character that his color scheme is based on for each slot. And then of course the last one is his swimsuit, which you don't really need hair color to tell the difference because he's literally almost naked. I really like all of Bowser Jr. and the Koopaling's renders. They all just kind of give them a little bit more personality that I don't think they really had in Smash 4. Like they give me the air of like, these are the neighborhood pranksters and they're the ones who uh, who TP the tree or spray paints some signs or something, you know? Uh, so I really like all of them and they definitely, it feels like they encapsulate each of the characters more. Why the heck can't you see Duck Hunt's face underneath these icons? Come on, man. What, what, what is going on here? And then of course we have Ken. Now I don't know all of the references right off the bat. I'm sure if I went to Google, I could match them up to, uh, the Street Fighter 2 color palettes because I believe Sakurai said he's based on Street Fighter 2. I read somewhere that one of these appears to be based on Violent Ken, which is Ken's sort of alter ego, although I don't know how credible that is, but um, I, I like all of the recolors, you know, all of them seem to stand out from each other, there's no real duplicates. Uh, so yeah, good job Sakurai. I really love that Inklings have a bunch of different colors and clothing options from the actual Splatoon game, the manga, all sorts of things like that. It just gives a much better representation of the actual series now that they've included that. They could have done the, the easy way out and just done, okay, we'll have a yellow one, a green one, a pink one, a blue one, a purple one, another purple one. Like they could have just copy pasted and changed the colors, but they went all out. They gave us different equipment, hats, bandanas, glasses, different shirts. I don't know, I just really, really like that. So good work on this one. Why am I saying good work like Sakurai's gonna watch it? Oh, so here's something that's interesting. It looks like there's Ridley, then Meta Ridley, and then some normal Ridley recolors. And then is that another Meta Ridley recolor that's meant to look like Mecha Ridley? I think that's what's going on here. If so, that's pretty cool. Although it's kind of weird that Ridley and then Meta Ridley are right next to each other. I'd think that Meta Ridley would be at the end. Maybe this is not going to be the case. It just seems very strange uh, as far as the order is concerned. All right, now we're getting into new character territory. Um, I like a lot of Simon's recolors, especially the ones that change his hair color. Uh, when I do the costume origins, I'm sure I'll learn what each of those uh, is for and why the hair color is different. But on first glance, I really like how all of these look. Now, Richter doesn't really get the same treatment with his hair, but I guess his hair is shorter, so maybe it's just less noticeable. His bandana does change in a couple of these, so he does get a uh, little different colors there. But uh, he's much more vivid, it looks like, than Simon. Maybe that's because Simon is more detailed and Richter wears uh, a more basic outfit. I'm not sure, but 
Richter's looks a lot more vibrant than Simon's. And then we have King K. Rule, whose colors I love. I think all of these are based on different Kremlings, but these ones just look so cool. I don't know. Maybe I just love King K. Rule and I'm glad he's in Smash, but I like how all of these look. Isabella, of course, has her, I think it's spring and fall or winter uh, outfits, and each of those has different recolors and they kind of alternate like you would expect they would. Uh, I like all of them, and I like that they gave her an alternate appearance, even though they didn't really need to, um, because I felt like the uh, the alternate appearance that she has really isn't that crazy of a difference, but it looks very cool nonetheless, and I'm pretty I'm actually pretty excited to see Isabelle in Smash. And finally, Incineroar. He actually has his shiny variant, so we're actually getting some shinies. I don't think we have shiny uh, Charizard, Squirtle, or Ivysaur. Uh, Mewtwo, obviously, we don't have either, but I'm liking that we're getting a lot of shinies. But as far as Incineroar goes, I really like all of these. They change his fur up so drastically that, I don't know, it just, they all seem very nice. They're pleasing to look at. I don't really know what else to say, um, but they're very, very cool. And so that is all of the characters and all of their respective costumes and colors, just looking at them. Um, I really like a lot of them. There are still some questionable choices in my opinion, but I do like a lot of these. So I'd love to know what your favorite character is and what your favorite color for that character is. Or if they're separate, just let me know what you like down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. If you are new, be sure to subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Peace out and have an awesome day. Man.